My first day as a plumber. Story time, let's talk about it. I'm Kenny Molotov, licensed plumber, professional magician, and entertainer. On this channel, I go through the ins and outs of my career in plumbing. I take you through a day in the life and we talk tools, theory, and mindset. I'm trying to give you an arsenal of knowledge and an online resource so you can take this trade head on and find yourself successful on the other end. Click subscribe, hit that bell notification, and let's talk pipes. Peeps, Kenny Molotov here at home and I wanted to tell you about the very first day I stepped foot into the truck and what had ensued that day because I, it was a little bit of an abnormal situation for a lot of people. I don't think they get this much action on the first day, but I wanted to let you know, you know, what I was sort of encountered, how I was introduced to the trade and what it was like. But let me give you a little bit of backstory, okay? So at this point in my life, I was 26. I had a failing comedy career. I was really trying to do comedy just to eventually realize, you know, it wasn't something I was interested in, but I was really interested in art. But at the same time, I'm with my wife, girlfriend then for, oh, six, seven years maybe. And at this point, I'm thinking about, you know, I need to buy a ring. We need to get married. We need to get our life on track. And comedy was just not doing it for me. And on the weekends, I was still doing magic professionally. I was working at restaurants. I was doing uh, corporate events and stuff like that. So getting into the truck for me was a, a financial decision. It was, it was one of those moments where I was like, look, I need money and I need a career. I don't need a dead end job. I need something that's going to, I can move up in if all my art doesn't come to fruition, in other words. You know what I'm saying? I need a, a decent fallback plan. And that's what plumbing was for me. I get in the truck, we go to the job site. I get to the job site. For the very first time, dad turns to me and he goes, okay, so we're shutting risers today. In my head, I'm like, what the heck is a riser? I've never heard of this before. Okay, we're shutting risers. What does that mean? He goes, uh, we're shutting water to a line in the building. What's a line? He goes, well, there's a hot and cold pipe that goes from 101, 201, 301, 401, 501, all the way to the top, top floor. We're shutting those pipes right there. Okay, cool. Let's do it. We shut the water. We start doing the repair. Everything's brand new to me. I don't know much about anything. All I know is I'm wearing steel toes for the first time, wearing safety glasses for the first time. There's a lot of mess that we're making because we got a breakdown the wall. I noticed that it's an entirely different system than now because what they have behind the wall is that mesh, the drywall plaster thing goes on top of it. It's different from what we do now here in Ontario. We're making a big mess. I'm doing a lot of cleaning. We're wearing masks and then we've done the repair and we got to turn on the water. Okay, cool. We turn on the water and then all of a sudden dad gets a panicked phone call and dad picks up the phone. He goes, what's up? And, and he hears something, gets off the phone. He goes, we got to go upstairs right away. We go up to the top floor. It wasn't the top floor. I think it was like like the eighth floor or something like that. And we walk into the eighth floor. I remember we walked out of the elevator. There was water all over the hallway. There was water coming from the one unit and it was spilling all the way into this long, long hallway. And I'm walking and it's squishing and I'm going, what the heck happened? Did a pipe burst? And we walk into the unit and here's what's crazy about the unit. When you walk into this unit, it had steps that went down into this kind of little den area, which was really cool because it had a TV, they had a station for their computer. It was really pretty. Water had essentially filled up the entire den. So they had a garbage can down in that den and it was legitimately floating like this around the den. It was the first time I'd ever seen anything like this. It's my first day on the job, period. And I'm like, is this what plumbing's all about? What's going on? So here's what had happened. I've talked about this in another video, but I can't remember which one, but this is what had happened. Somebody during the shutdown of the riser walks over to their kitchen sink and they turn on their kitchen sink just to find out, man, there's no water. Oh yeah, they're shutting the riser today. So what they think to themselves is, okay, you know what? Forget uh, making breakfast. I'll grab breakfast on the way to work. So they get ready, they walk out the door, they go to work, but they forgot to close the kitchen sink. The tap is still left on. So they walked over, they turned it on. They didn't turn it off. They just walked out. They got dressed, they walked out. And because of this, when the water was turned on, it wasn't just turned on, it was turned on at full blast. Now listen, technically, if the sink drain is doing well, it should be able to handle that volume, but here's where it gets a little bit dicey. You know those uh, cloths that you wipe down your countertop with or your plates with? There was one cloth in, in one sink, one cloth in the other sink. So what's happening is as 
as the water is draining, the one cloth clogs the drain on the right. So this sink starts to fill up and thankfully the border between the double sink was actually lower than the countertop so water started going into the other sink. Now technically the other sink should be able to handle the volume as well. What happens is though as it's draining the cloth that's in the left sink also starts draining towards the drain and in the basket strainer clogs the basket strainer and now the second sink is filling up. Now they're both filling up it gets to the same level it keeps going peeps because that faucet is on full blast hot and cold gets to the top starts spilling down and it starts coming into the floor now not only did it come onto their kitchen floor but it filled up the den below not only did it fill up the den below it got into their room their main the main bedroom it got all the way in there not only did it get into the main bedroom it also went outside into the hallway not only did it get out into the hallway we were getting calls this was it the eighth floor and ninth floor, we were getting calls from 101 going, hey, um, there's water coming from my ceiling. So it was going from each unit. That's how much water was going this entire time. So for the first time ever, dad goes, we need to get the shop vac. I don't know what a shop vac is. It's my first day on the job. Dad takes me to the truck. We get our small little vacuum. He takes out the filter. I go, you can do this. You can suck up water. He goes, with this vacuum, yeah. And then the superintendents had these major major massive vacuums that sucked up water as well. But because we were so cool with the superintendent, we stayed back a couple of hours to help them clean because this was a disaster. There was just that much water. And again, as we were vacuuming, this garbage can just kept floating. It was like the most hilarious and sad thing all at the same time because everybody below this unit was going to see water. And then you gotta get insurance involved and all this stuff. And that was how I was introduced to plumbing. That that was my very first day and I was thinking to myself, okay, look, this is gonna be a long career if this is what every day feels like. I hope it's not. But I learned a really valuable lesson when that day took place, which was A, if you ever turn on the water and no water comes out, you shut that faucet right away. And B, try not to leave things inside your sink in case something like this happens, especially the cloths that can clog the basket strainer. You're looking for a disaster at play. So needless to say, it was quite the introduction introduction into my career. I don't know if other people have had experiences like this where the first day was just a disaster, but that's how it was for me. But thankfully, the rest of my career hasn't had this much action, if you know what I'm saying. It's had way more civil, non-leaking action, in other words. And I'm blessed to have that be the case thus far. Knock on wood, I hope I ain't jinxing anybody. So peeps, that was my first day. Let me know down in the comments below if you've had anything interesting like that happen on your first day or if have have you had this situation happen to you at all? And I'll see you plumbers very soon. Kenny Molotov, guys. Peace, baby. I got a ache inside of me. It's a deep hole where I bleed. Oh, can I see you later? You're like an ocean without land. Not a single grain of sand. I'm drifting on it.